Thank you for bearing me with for the next uh, 400 seconds. I'm not talking scientifics. I'm uh, only um, producing a talk about um, what I think is important in your design. Um, my title is Mainstream or uh, an Approach to Responsible Design. And what does mainstream mean? Uh, that is con uh, usually concepts that have evolved rather than erupted. Generally, no uh, uh, revolutionary, re uh, revolutionary ideas, and due to the sheer number of boats being built, they are well proven in service. Um, as we are um, not only offshore, totally dependent on the uh, security of a boat, uh, boat systems, in my idea, should uh, be really reduced on board ship um, to give me a relaxed time on boat. This is a Nordic fault boat, a proven and well-balanced uh, um, design, actually. Uh, note the absence of a reef in the main sail. They don't need it. A cruiser of that time with uh, ample comfort for that time, for a, a small family of four people. That's actually my boat. It's a fog boat. It's a perfect boat to be on. It's built in 61. Uh, it's 1961 for the, for the younger in the audience, yeah? not 18. <laughs> the fog boat needs only two sheets, two halyards, a tiller. And, um, but we know that things may get wilder at, uh, at any time. So, with a new design, we build. We need more things to consider. Um, when designing a, a floating product of any type, uh, in this case a sailing boat, um, there are design um, criteria like speed, comfort, draft, beam, and uh, most commonly on, for every one-off project, most of gimmicks to be placed on the boat. That's a problem because uh, those gimmicks don't give security probably most of the time. Um, when we are asked to, to, um, to design a boat, um, more things are worth being considered. Honesty, open words, clarity, and built-in safety. These people on board ship, they need a certain amount of po uh, passive safety, I call it, uh, not dependent on their activity, on their actions on board ship. Uh, a little bit of uh, extra safety that saves them if the sheets go wrong, if something goes wrong. Honesty and frankness, I call if I tell, if I ask somebody, yes, you need a canting keel or a lifting keel or something, but do you really need it? Does it really benefit you? Uh, is it really a uh, benefit like in stability, um, in the stability? For this case, the keel you've seen before that is integrated in that boat, it makes perfectly sense because that guy, he wants to be in the Wadden and the uh, sheltered waters. He needs a keel like that. He wants to have the security added for his children. <clears throat> so um, what do we need else? Honesty, frankness, market fitness. When I design a yacht and it comes out of date because um, the design phase takes a certain time, I must tell the uh, client, no, this is not fit anymore for the market. From the front view, it was. Look at the stern now. It isn't anymore. Time has gone by. This boat is not reflecting zeitgeist anymore. Okay? I have to tell the client, let's change that design or do a, do a new design. We have to change it. This, by, this uh, design, by contrast, was, uh, is a perfectly safe design, but um, to me, to my, uh, to my eyes, it's, it's not beautiful. I have to tell the client as well. But anyway, it's uh, his choice, perfect for him.
This ferry has been designed by myself for sheltered waters, also in the Wadden. And that guy that uh, ordered the design, he told me, listen, I want a wave piercer doing f uh, 25 knots. That's not, uh, uh, that's not um, good because in that sheltered waters, you only have to drive at 16 knots. Next slide. Limitations of um, use. Um, Without building a mock-up, I can tell the client in the first place how much place he really has in the boat, okay? I don't have to cheat. I tell him, listen, with that length of boat, with that freeboard, you had that time. Passive, going back to passive security, buoyancy forward and aft. I always try to incorporate uh, lots of buoyancy forward and aft. A huge wide uh, side decks and a sill. It does do something, it do, does sometimes save people from um, going down. Um, also, the gimmicks I've, I've been talking about. This boat was equipped with a, uh, with a, a pivoting um, steering pedestal. Uh, we did that in a mock-up. Uh, I told the guy, listen, this can get you into deep trouble, but still, we realized it good fun. Talking about usability, reboarding, other issues. Reboarding is often misunderstood or not even thought about. Um, sometimes we make tests, sometimes we just put a ladder and put a sticker on the steering pedestal to say, if you're alone, don't go with putting the uh, reboarding ladder. Escape hatches. Um, one thing that is often forgotten. This one is my escape from my talk. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a good evening. <laughs>